I'm Bug Wrightson, I'm uh, an operational search dog handler with Hampshire Search and Rescue Dogs. <clears throat> and the crazy little loon sat next to me is Oppo, who's probably not going to sit still for any of this. <laughs> and, but he's the brains of the outfit, he's the nose, he's uh, the, the dog that actually finds people. And he's um, eight and a bit years old, nearly eight and a half. Working together operationally for over four years, four and a half years now, um, something like about phew, maybe 100 call outs. Um, but also, on the run-up to that, there's about a year and a half, or in our case, about a year and a half training. So, you know, we, we know each other very well. Um, well, we're a voluntary organisation. Our, um, <clears throat> our job is to uh, support the police in finding um, vulnerable, lost, missing people. First thing is the police need to decide whether someone is vulnerable and missing. Uh, there's a big difference between being late home from the pub and someone who's got Alzheimer's, dementia, um, <clears throat> someone with mental health issues, someone might be despondent, potentially suicidal, um, or a child that's gone missing. All of those are the vulnerable categories. They would call, uh, call in a dog team, which would be us. Um, <clears throat> we would then get a text from our call-out coordinator anytime day or night, 365 days a year, and it does happen on Christmas Eve, it does happen on wedding anniversaries and all the rest of it. Um, and we would then make our way to that point to, to sign on for the search. Yeah, so this is, this is Oppo's search harness. It's, his, um, it's like his uniform. That means um, that he knows once this comes out, he's gonna go and, go and work. There we go. <coughs> Good lad. I just gave him a specific command, which is his search command. And the typical areas we'd search for the dogs is areas of dense woodland, dense vegetation, big, big, big areas of the new forest, all the kind of stuff that a dog can cover really, really quickly uh, and a foot team can't, uh, just using their specialist skills, which is, which is their nose, simple as that. He's searching this area looking for human scent and once he's found some human scent then he'll go and investigate that, check there's actually a person there and then come back and tell me. Sometimes we could be out for quite long periods of time, sometimes we'll just go out and do one very very quick search and that would be it. One really good indication I always get from him is that when I'm getting really close to that person he will then do what's called a standover bark so he'll sit by that person and bark like mad and because he knows that there's a big excitement coming up that's he's going to get his toy and, and this is what it's all about for him. That's his toy that's what he gets for every stage of the training process and for, for working and for finding the, the people in his case. That's his payoff. That's it, yep, yeah, it's as simple as that. Actually making an operational find is a fantastic buzz. Um, Oppo's made a number of operational finds, including two already this year. And, and you ride off that roller coaster for you know, a long, 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 long time. It, it is just, just the best feeling knowing that your dog has saved a life, which uh, um, is essentially what we're there to do. Drop. Good boy, good boy. Um, why do I like Hailing Island? Um, really interesting question. Uh, for somebody whose who's job is, is, is in the mountains, um, no mountains around this way, um, it is really just a very, very nice place to, to be. We live very close to the sea, so we got the opportunity, I mean, Oppo's got plenty of opportunity to go and splash around in the sea every day. Uh, there's also a lovely little area of woodland. There's a lovely sort of uh, community on hailing. We were offered a house or shown the details of a house on hailing, took one look at it, fell in love straight away, fell in love with the area. And that was 20, five, nearly 25 years ago. <laughs> so yeah, we, we do like it. Um, and it's just a very, very nice place to live. Mm -hmm.